The IFC Ghana Warehouse Receipt System project is expected to facilitate and increase access for credit for smallholder farmers. It will also serve as supply chain, access to structured markets and professional warehousing to reduce post-harvest storage losses. The IFC Ghana Warehouse Receipt System project in collaboration with the Ghana Commodity Exchange was launched in Accra to provide insurance for local farmers who trade on the exchange market. Speaking on the sidelines of the event, the Deputy Director General in charge of legal of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Deborah Mausi Ajemfra, highlighted the significance of the project to ensure sustainable financing of the operations of local farmers. The warehouse receipt system is very important because our farmers have a major challenge in getting financing for what they do. So we as the regulator of the Ghana Commodity Exchange, what we have done is to license warehouses. So once the warehouse is licensed and the products from the farms can be taken there. We believe that that's a major step because the warehouse has the right conditions to keep these products ready to be sold on the Ghana Commodity Exchange. Seeing the savings and loans companies have made their commitments very clear that they will provide the relevant financing, which is the warehouse receipt, which is linked it's like a collateral to the, the products that are being put there in the warehouse. So the farmer has some support financially once the products are certified to meet all the standards of the Ghana Commodity Exchange. The Chief Operations Officer of the Ghana Commodities Exchange, Robert Dobuna Owu, called for capacity building for smallholder farmers. What we did today was the other leg, which is the access to finance leg, which means that the farmers or depositors of the commodities in the warehouses who have been given the receipts must be able to assess finance using the commodities that they've stored in their warehouses as collateral. So basically what we've done today is to invite savings and loans um, companies to be part of that financing scheme whereby they, they will finance the commodities that have been stored in the GCS warehouses based on the face value of the receipt and also backed by the commodities that are actually in the warehouses as collateral. Year on year, um, listing various commodities on the exchange. Currently, we have about five commodities listed. Maize, we have soya, we have milled rice, we have sorghum, and then we have sesame listed on the exchange. Now, as part of um, trading those commodities, there's been the need to also educate and train, build the capacity of various farmers to be able to produce the right quality that is needed to be able to deposit those in the warehouses. With financial support from the Switzerland's State Secretariat for Economic Affairs, the IFC Ghana WRS project is being implemented in nine regions in the grains value chain of the country. Christmas is fast approaching and Ghanaians are gearing up to celebrate the Yuletide. Prior to this year's celebration, a lot of citizens are complaining about the harsh economic climate and how it will affect the ability to enjoy this year's Christmas. My colleague Moses Desire Kuyo comes through with his report. Christmas is a time of merrymaking and in Ghana, it is usually a period where Ghanaians spare no cost to enjoy the finest things in life. However, it is likely some Ghanaians will struggle to properly celebrate this year's festivities as a result of the economic hardship in the country. Some Ghanaians have indicated their willingness to adapt to the unfavorable economic climate by cutting costs and living within the means. I don't have any expectations. I don't have any expectations at all. I'm just moving with the flow. Whatever happens, I take it like that. But I know I would have fun. I would enjoy it one way or the other. Yeah. Last year... I actually spent a lot, but this year I'm going to cut down costs because the economy is not so good. Don't intend to buy a new clothing again. Use what you have now. No matter how old it is, wash it nicely, iron it, and then see it in your mind because the, the, the battlefield is the mind. If you see it in your mind that it's a new thing, wear it. If you have children that you think they can disturb you, try to get one, one or two stars for them. But you as a grown-up, as a father or a mother, never uh, uh, buy anything. Use what you have. Dr. Richard Frimpo Nyako, author of Good Money Habits in Bad Economic Times and the Executive Director for the Financial Literacy Africa, also shared his views on how Ghanaians can enjoy a financially sound Christmas. Have a clear understanding of what exactly you want to buy for this period. Quantify it in cost terms and check if your income meets it halfway. 
or doesn't meet it at all. If it meets it halfway or doesn't meet it at all, go back to that list. Divide that list into discretionary and statutory. Now, statutory means which of these items do you really need to spend on? That is to say, if you don't spend on that kind of item, something bad like death or something bad like loss, something will happen to you. Each of those items, it is almost like mandatory. You need to spend on them. So let's say food, let's say water, basic things that really will keep you going. Take them out of that expense list. If you are listening to me and you even have a regular job that pays you some end income, please look for three additional sources of income.